welcome back guys now in this video let's discuss about the topic small topic that is autophagy okay autophagy in the name itself it's there auto means what auto means self phagy means what eating so autophagy literally translates to self eating so let me put it this way see for example you are not eating anything okay you are doing fasting okay for hours okay hours pass days pass now you are not eating anything you are not eating anything so you have to get energy right somehow you have to get energy okay so what happens is your cells will digest your own cell organelles so for example your mitochondria is there mitochondria is having lots and lots of proteins the inner membrane of mitochondria is having lot of complexes so those complexes which are made up of proteins they will be broken down so by taking that proteins energy is going to be generated atp is going to be generated okay so autophagy is seen especially during fasting conditions and when you are not eating anything fasting okay seen during fasting a severe malnutrition Okay, severe malnutrition. Okay, and even it is seen during the old age. Okay, old ages. Now, what exactly is happening? I have explained you. Mainly, it is the mitochondria. Mitochondria, not just not the mitochondria, all the cell organelles. So they will be destroyed. They will be metabolized, broken down by the lysosomes. Okay, lysosomes are there in each and every cells. Now, these lysosomes are going to break down this mitochondria whatever the proteins which are released the proteins will be utilized for the energy production so let me put it this way in a simple way mitochondria okay will be taken up by the lysosomes and energy is produced this process is called as autophagy how many types of autophagy are there see there are mainly four types of autophagy okay four types so what are these four types of autophagy the four types include macro autophagy okay macro autophagy next micro autophagy next mitophagy Okay, mitophagy and the fourth one which is chaperon mediated chaperon mediated autophagy so let's see what are the differences between this micro autophagy macro autophagy mitophagy and as well as the chaperon mediated autophagy now first let's begin with the macro autophagy see in macro autophagy see first let's write with the macro See in macro autophagy, okay. Let's uh, let me show you the AP, AP for, AP for autophagy. See in macro autophagy, autophagosomes are produced. Autophagosomes are produced. So, what exactly are these autophagosomes, sir? If you ask me, see, autophagosomes means. Let me show you in the image. You will better understand. See here in this image, I am showing you macro autophagy here. See, this is the lysosome. The whole structure, this whole structure is the lysosome. Inside the lysosomes, we know there are hydrolytic enzymes which can break down the substances. Hydrolytic enzymes are present. So now, inside the cell, in the cell, in the cell cytoplasm. Okay, in the cell cytoplasm, there are lot of cell organelles present. Lot of cell organelles, lot of proteins present. Now. Around these proteins, a membrane is getting formed. An isolated membrane is forming. Okay, so there are lots and lots of energy substances. All these energy substances are packed into a vesicle. This is called as autophagosome. See, there is autophagosome. Now, this autophagosome is going to bring all these materials, all these protein materials, or all some other lipid materials, cell organelles, directly to the lysosomes. They are presented to the lysosomes. So, in the lysosomes. These molecules are going to be broken down for the production of energy. As simple as that. So, in the macro autophagy, there is formation of autophagosome in the cytoplasm. Next, 
Second thing is micro autophagy. So, what exactly is a micro sir? In micro autophagy, there is direct uptake of cell organelles. Okay, direct uptake of cell organelles. So, look here. Here I am showing the micro autophagy. So, what exactly is micro autophagy? See, these are the cell organelles. Okay, here are cell organelles. Directly, the cell organelles are taken up by the lysosomes. There is no formation of the autophagosome. So, directly the cell organelles will be taken up. See, lysosome which is uh, simply moving. The lysosome will go to the cell organelles and they are directly taken up into the lysosomes. Okay. So, this is called as micro autophagy. Next, what is chaperon mediated autophagy? Okay, chaperon mediated autophagy. See, in chaperon mediated autophagy, now let me show you the image. See, this is a protein. For example, say this is a protein. Okay. Now, that protein will be taken up by a molecule called as chaperon. Heat shock protein 70. HSP, HSP 70 means it's a heat shock protein. It's a chaperon. Now, what is going to do? This molecule is going to take this protein, okay, protein which is present in the cytoplasm, okay. Now, this HSC molecule is just like a consultant, like you know, cons consultants, what they will do? They will send the students to the abroad, okay, consultants do this job, right. In the same way, this heat shock protein is going to take this protein and this protein, there is no formation of the autophagosome, these proteins are directed to the lysosomes. So, here there is a molecule, see, on the lysosome molecule. There is a substance on the lysosome, there is a molecule present. This molecule is called as LAMP 2A. So, this LAMP 2A is going to bind with this HSP, uh, HSC 17. Okay, the chaperon is going to bind with the LAMP 2A. Now, only, now only this lysosomes will allow this protein to enter into the lysosome. See, now this protein is entering into the lysosomes. So, it's just like an ID card. So, Whenever there is a protein which is coated with this HSC or chaperon, this chaperon is going to direct the proteins into the lysosomes. On the surface of lysosomes, there are molecules called as LAMP2A. So, this LAMP2A is going to recognize, ah, okay, chaperon is taking the protein. So, it will allow the protein into the lysosomes. In the lysosomes, the protein will be broken down for the release of the energy. Okay, as simple as that. So, let me write here, in chaperon mediated autophagy, in your exam, which kind, what kind of questions you can expect is, which chaperons are involved? HSP, heat shock protein. Okay, heat shock protein in a simple way. HSP 70, heat shock protein 70 or HSC 70. Okay, heat shock protein. Next, which molecules are present on the lysosome? They are LAMP. LAMP molecules. LAMP 2A. LAMP 2A molecules are involved. So, that's it. The last one which is left over is called as the mitophagy. Okay, mitophagy. So, what exactly is happening in the mitophagy? Here it is very clearly given. See, here in the center there is mitophagy. The name itself it is there. Mito means only mitochondria are getting broken down, not some other proteins, not some other cell organelles. It is only the mitochondria, preferably the mitochondria are getting broken down by the lysosomes. Okay. See, here is a uh, let me put it this way. See, a membrane is forming. Okay, a membrane is forming. Around what? The membrane is forming only around the mitochondria. See, a phagosome is formed. Okay, yes, of course, autophagosome is getting formed here. Autophagosomes are formed during macroautophagy as well as mitophagy. That autophagosome is forming. But here in this autophagosome, what do you have? Only, only mitochondria are present. But here, Multiple substances are present, look. Multiple proteins, multiple cell organelles, different, different substances can be present. But in mitophagy, it's preferentially only mitochondria. So, autophagosome is formed. That autophagosome is going to bind with the lysosome. See, this is the autophagosome. Is going to bind with the lysosome. Now, it is called as autolysosome. So, autolysosomal formation. A phagosome is going to bind with the lysosome. We form the autolysosome. Now, these hydrolytic enzymes are going to be released here. So, leading to the degradation. Okay, leading to the degradation of the mitochondria, proteins are going to be released, the proteins are will be involved in the production of ATP. So, energy is going to be released. See, during severe starvation conditions, malnutrition conditions, so self-eating, your body is trying to eat your own organelles for the production of energy. From outside, no energy is going. 
so your body is eating up your own proteins own mitochondria own cell uh, like uh, cell organelles okay now important points which i want you to know is see in this process of mitophagy are you able to appreciate some molecules are present two important molecules are present pink and parkin so pink and parkin see this pink and parkin they are involved in which type of autophagy they are involved in mitophagy okay they are involved in mitophagy so what is the marker of this autophagy marker of autophagy i am asking you so how can we know that this any cells autophagy is happening the marker is lc3 okay direct question lc3 is the marker of autophagy and what is the gene involved gene responsible for this autophagy it is atg1 okay atg1 gene is involved in the process of autophagy and marker for autophagy is lc3 pink and parkin are involved in mitophagy this lamp lamp 2a and heat shock protein are involved in chaperon mediated autophagy autophagosomes okay autophagosomes are going to be produced in c in two things one is macro autophagy as well as mitophagy you will see autophagosome formation in which conditions no autophagosome no autophagosome is not formed in micro autophagy as well as chaperon mediated autophagy okay so with this we have completed the topic of autophagy that's a self eating hope the video is helpful thank you